Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Amanda and today I'm going to be doing a sketchbook flip through a tour. Um, I know this is not really a sketchbook, it's an art portfolio as you can see here, but I'm going to treat it as if you know, it's a sketchbook. I don't, I don't see the difference, it's just a different format. This art portfolio actually has drawings from 2021. So it's my drawings from 2021 to like my recent drawing, which I completed like yesterday <laughs> so this first drawing i did after watching the eternals movie so i decided to draw this in graphite pencil with color pencil because the reference i used was like grayscale and then there was also yellow applied to these pieces as well so i tried to imitate that as much as possible so as you can see, I'm a huge Marvel fan. And so don't be surprised if that's all you see in my sketchbook slash art portfolio. So this is Doctor Strange. This is, spoiler alert, Harry Styles. This was when I first started my job. I was sketching the different Spider-Man. So this was in pen. I didn't get to do Tobey Maguire Spider-Man, but here he is drawn in color pencil. And then I basically draw these characters based on like the, the movie, um, whenever the movie comes out. So I do this after Batman came out. And then these, these sketches were actually just random sketches that I wanted to do at work. And I was just playing around with like color pencils. So I did a, I first sketched it freehandedly with pen and then I layered it with color pencil. He kind of looks funny, of course, cause it's freehanded. So yeah, some more freehand sketches over here. I did Groot and Deadpool. At this point, I was just giving up <laughs> on these sketches because I didn't want to get in trouble at work. <laughs> and so this is this was done after the second Sonic movie came out. I actually sell prints of these on my shop if you are interested. The link should be below in the description. The Minions movie inspired this drawing. So I drew that. And then this was just another Spider-Man drawing that I did. I had asked my students if I should draw another Spider-Man character and they helped me pick a reference. So I went with this and I actually didn't finish it until like three months after I started it. And then the same thing with this. After finishing Moon Knight, I sketched this out and I didn't get to complete it until like two months later. So this was summer of 2022 after Miss Marvel came out. I thought it would be cool to draw her since her costume is pretty vibrant. So I did that. And then the Thor movie came out and I drew these iconic characters. This has to be one of my favorite Marvel drawings to date. I completed this one. Was pretty cool to do as well with like the lightning bolt. So then this is the drawing I did of MJ at the end of summer. I had fun doing this as well. I feel like this is the most realistic drawing I've done of Zendaya, even though I could do better. Yeah, and then I didn't draw until like October when I first started the Inktober prompt. It was Marvel themed. So I did Thor as my first uh, drawing, Loki for the second, Wanda for the third, uh, mind you, I didn't complete the prompt, so I only did like 12. 12 pieces because I was working and, you know, you get burnt out completing, you know, drawings every single day. I dedicated like three to four hours each day on these pieces. Moon Knight, Hella, Mark Spector, and Stephen Grant. Groot. Spider-Man again. <laughs> It's a common theme. Valkyrie, Captain America's shield. I think we're nearing the end. This is Black Panther. Wednesday. And no more from the Black Panther movie. And this is actually my most recent drawing that I completed uh, this past weekend. So kind of counts as 2023. 
I was able to fit all of these drawings in this portfolio and I have to buy myself a new portfolio for this year. But overall, I enjoyed making all of these pieces. I feel like I learned a lot when it came to composition and the use of color, like for example, with this one. And as well as using different materials. So for this drawing, for example, I used markers and color pencil. And then with my sketches from earlier on in 2022, I used pen and color pencil. So it was pretty fun to experiment with these different drawing styles. And yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little flip through. I feel like it went by really fast, but yeah, these were all the drawings I completed within the past two years. And I cannot wait to see what I create this year. So if you look forward to seeing any more of these kind of videos, please leave this video a like and subscribe to this channel so I know that you're interested. And I thank you guys so much for the support and I will see you in the next video.